the Atlas Lions have astounded the footballing world with their miraculous performance at the World Cup, becoming the first Arab and African nation to make it all the way to the last four of the competition in its 92-year history. Two victories will put Morocco in a position to win the World Cup. The squad hasn't lost at this year's competition and has only given up one goal, a known goal against Canada in the group rounds. Morocco has previously defeated well-known opponents like Belgium, Spain, and Portugal and drew with Croatia. The Atlas Lions will play the defending champions France in the semi-finals on Wednesday, but that team stands in their way of a chance at the final. In the event that they defeat France, Valery Kragi's team will play either Croatia, the runners-up from 2018, or Argentina, the champions from 1986, on Sunday for the ultimate trophy in FIFA 2022. Morocco will use the same strategies they have used throughout the campaign against France. While offering a danger on the counter-attack, Regragi's team will play deep in an effort to contain the world champion's arsenal of offensive skill, which includes superstar striker Kylian Mbappe. When the World Cup began on November 20 in Qatar, few people would have imagined that Morocco would still be a factor at this point. But today, in Qatar, in Morocco, and all across the world, Hope is sweeping through Morocco and among its hordes of followers. Morocco's unanticipated run to the World Cup semi-finals might be partly credited to a strategy actively seeking out talent in the diaspora to bolster the national squad and increase their chances of success. Unlike any other team competing in the football tournament in Qatar, 14 of Morocco's 26-man roster were born outside of the nation giving them a unique blend of players from the expanding immigrant populations in Europe who have helped them break new ground. Yunus Baunu, a goalie born in Canada, has only allowed one goal while Ashraf Hakimi, a player born in Madrid, has excelled on the right side. Sofia Namrabat, a player born in the Netherlands, is a potent midfield enforcer, and Sofiane Bouffal, a player born in France, is a threat on the left. Moroccan coach has previously said during an interview that we would dream to win the World Cup. He said I was asked whether we could win the World Cup at a news conference a few games back. I said, why not? We can dream. Why can't we have dreams? After the team's triumph over Portugal on Saturday, Ri Gragi reminded reporters that without dreams, one cannot succeed. Having dreams doesn't cost you anything. European nations are accustomed to winning the World Cup, he said, referring to his team as this year's Rocky Balboa of the competition. Believe and you can succeed, is what the Moroccan message. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel.